Hi, I'm Harry Haugen and I teach photo classes and one of the classes that I teach is travel photography. Now, when I talk to people about their travels, a reoccurring theme always keeps coming up and that is this. When I photograph a person in front of a monument, in this case a home, the person's the right size but the monument's too big. Or, the monument is in the right size and the person's too small. So in this case here I'm going to show you a technique to have the person and the monument the right size and that's called perspective. Now the first thing you want to do is to make the monument or in this case the home the right size in the picture frame and then what you're going to do is to keep on moving the person closer and closer and closer to the camera until the person is in the right size in the frame. Now, this is going to uh, combine two things, the monument or the home in the back and the person in the frame. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to leave this location and go to a couple of others and practice this technique. So stay with us. Thanks a lot. Okay, here we are at our first example for this technique. Now, remember what we said in the past. We need to get the background of the correct size in the camera frame. So what you want to do is to either use your wide angle and telephoto adjustment on your camera or move back until the building in the background is the correct size that you want it. Then you're going to tell the person to come forward towards the camera until the person is the correct size in the frame. Once both of those are done, then you're going to take the picture, click, done. Okay, this is going to be the last example for this technique. Now, as we said in the past, what you want to do is to use your telephoto wide angle adjustment on your camera to make sure that you see the entire building in the frame of the camera. Once that is done, then you're going to tell the person to come closer and closer and closer to the camera until both the person and the background are the size of the camera that you want. Once that is done, you're going to take the picture, click, and it's done. Now that we've had time to practice this technique, let me show you an illustration in pictorial form on how this, uh, this technique really works well. Here's a picture of my wife and I on a vacation that we took down in Cannon Beach, Oregon in 2006. Now, as we said in the technique, we placed the the haystack rock in the picture including the reflection to exactly where I wanted it. I then placed my wife in the position where I wanted her. <laughs> then I turned my camera over to my son-in-law and I positioned myself in the picture and snap the picture was taken. So as you can see this technique works really well and you should practice it on your own. My website is www.keepsakephotoclasses.com, telephone number 206-351-8860. Practice this technique and enjoy your next travels.